on by Shea's Lucian for the rest of the game. So he wants a do-over on that one. It could also be another one of those situations where SKT is now up 2-0, so they want to save whatever reveal they would have for the next game. We're not in this tournament. A fitness tournament might have picked it up. And speaking of Costa. Now Costa looking for him, but Faker doesn't have the subs. Already flashes out of the way, but oh, the they have the angle on there. him. Faker just has to keep running. Bloodlines pushing. That's yeah. bad news. Ezreal or Karma could collapse on a Faker. He is dead. Able to try and take it down, but Faker's going to buy as much time as he can. Faker still has a barrier. Might just hold a root call the last. And first blood goes to Maple. Oh, we've seen this story before. Game will be largely judged on. Vision, you know, Vision is the big factor we've talked about. The Flash Wars did have the advantage on very much in history as trading continues in bot lane. You imagine they're gonna disengage, but here we go. A lot of support or combo, but Betty tucked out on the other side. Castle is actually joined in now. Wolf gonna get rooted and be forced to flash root call. It goes a little wide, dashes to a minion. I think Archer, they're trying to get out of the way, but Castle taking yeah. too much damage. Bang gets a kill in a 2 v Mina, Mina gonna join the party, Betty. Zooms out of the way, he's got his flash, forced to burn it there, but now Sorta took damage on the back end. No die from Peanut, but so much for. Certainly has been more about the counter ganking for Peanut. He has had plenty of kills, but not necessarily first blood. Bolin just keeps fighting though. Bang a wolf in another 2v2. Exhaust is down. Bang getting chunk and he needs to get a little further forward. Bang taking a little too much damage. Tries to watch out of the way, but Betty! Oh my god! Oh, Six shot bang! Don't forget the heal is up! Cost gets down and Betty not gonna get it! Bang! The outplay right there by Bang and Wolf! Peanut to put the exclamation point as well. Right. Exactly, the fatal damage could have come through in there. Karsa, he's gonna burn down, already dies. Baker actually gets the kill. Truckwave gonna miss, that's a rare one, but MMD in there, Peanut. All that has happened, now Karsa getting jumped off. Oh, bang, another ambush started up. Rupal is gonna land for the stun. <laughs> keeping around for a kill. Bang's gonna get another one. This is just SKT adding insult to injury right there. He's waiting for Betty to push up. Again, forcing the Arcane shift back. They manufacture fights. Mabel back in, but Faker here with the barrier flash and the shockwave. Mabel gonna flash it. Really wants to go in, but Pina into defend already. He'll get burned. Pina, huge damage, and Faker oh. shuts it down with a dissonance. The ball location was the last thing. Level 11, because they hit such tremendous power spikes when compared to what the Galio and Lucian hit at level 11. Oh, Pina! Oh. Flashes for a oh. in the goodbye, Mabel! <laughs> There's your initiation, Jet. Hey, we talked about getting next to someone in Lulu. All thing that's one way. Playing much, but somehow they're ridiculously far ahead. Bang again onto Betty, getting aggressive. Venom cast goes in. Picks helping out. Redemption oh. might have been enough to save him. Not in range with the contaminate. So Betty lives this time. Bang back on there, but he's frontlining with the wild growth on him. As Bang burst the ultimate maple. Though. Oh, the calling. He's not going to get. Oh, not going to get blocked. As Wolf takes a lot of damage on the other side. Bang. Who's going to get sniped? Betty does take a Wolf now. Bang going out. Flash roll. Signs of life. Finally. All the time, a rumble is pushing, but that's a plan. TP down towards Betty. Got Wolf behind him as well. Betty already going to get taken down. Elan's over the top, and Wolf going to get himself a kill in the game. Betty turned into a critter. Betty orders the trinket, and Wolf. That was like one of those games. Master SKT knows exactly how to play around it. Bang at it again. Maple gonna get ulted up as Bang just turns it on. Damage is more than enough. Submarine plays have begun. Don't even need a Shen to take out SKTs. There's so little initiation. Oh. Uh, speaking of initiation, that shockwave Hoonie flashes over. <laughs> Walk over the top of him. That's gonna go straight forward. Hoonie does go down in the struggle for the tower. They will get MMD flashes forward looking for a follow up, but has to get up. That's not an SKT style. Well, they'll just take the Baron instead. They got more than enough damage for this on Castle with a smite. Might make it happen. It's already too late, though. Polymorph just for good measure. And SK is our next turret. Sorry, inhibitor turret. Bold ultimate from Betty. Being immobile for a second with Baker right there, but they have to clear the waves. Have to do something. Shockwave gonna threaten. MMD gonna look for a target. Three people. Maybe we're gonna turn it back around. Baker low, 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 but he doesn't go down yet with the shields. MMD. All these back on the maybe with the shockwave's gonna seal MMD's fate. Hooney diving into the backline, trying to take a Carter as Pino grabs a double there with Maple going down. SKT gonna look to end it all. That's both Solaters down for Flash Wolves. We talked about that timer. They're right on time. Timer looking good so far, and SKT gonna look for this first Nexus turret. Taking in a full pretty soon here as they TB back in with Rooney. Oh. Daisy mounting his back opens up and the swell of pressure has built into a wave that looks to force of which looks to cleave Flash Wolves straight in two. They will sweep the Flash Wolves, they will defend their MSI championship and they will do what they have always done, achieve victory.
and also removing any doubt of someone maybe having an edge sometimes on SKT because Flash Wolves were four and two against them coming into this. Some people were whispering, oh, maybe Flash Wolves is SKT's kryptonite. No, they are not flat. They are not the kryptonite for SKT here. Total dominance in a 3-0. David versus Goliath is so often the case when you take to the rip against SK Telecom T1, and it feels like every tournament, every LCK match day, you need to anoint a new David because Goliath keeps rolling 